Oh, this is Nick, and I'm um, continuing a series of, of videos about proportionality, actually about, um, about uh, physical science. The, these videos, these, this, this particular um, series is about uh, propor proportionalities, the different types of pro proportionalities. And in the previous videos, we spoke about the different um, terms associated with proportionality, just to clarify what they meant, we concluded that proportional proportional is the same thing as saying direct proportional. So sometimes the you know the word proportional is used, and a lot of times the words direct proportional is used, but they are they are used interchangeably. And then you have inverse proportion, inverse proportion, which is the same as indirect, indirect proportion. Um, so those are the same. Sometimes you will see direct variations or indirect variations, and sometimes that is the, those terms are also used, but they are not used very often. Um, in this video, we are talking about conditions that must be met in order for something to be proportional or directly proportional. Um, what are the conditions that must be met? Number one, there must be at least two variables or factors or conditions or whatever they might be called. Here, we are, here I have some examples. The number of sheep born every three months or the number of waves breaking every five seconds. The number of jewels expended each time two people mount um, on to scale. You know, well, those are just three random um, examples of, of um, two conditions that, that must be met. Number two, the two conditions must be changing with respect to each other. The two conditions must be changing with respect to each other. Uh, here's another example. As a country's population increases, the, the amount of financial contributions to political campaigns increases. Um, we don't know if that is true or not, but um, that, that could be an example of two conditions changing, changing um, uh, at, at rates of each other that you know that affect each other. Number three, the two conditions must be changing at the same rate. Now this could be a little technical uh, because the rates do not have to be the same, and, and I'm going to illustrate this in a minute. Uh, for example, tigers attack two wolves in five hours, or tigers attack four wolves in, in ten hours. Tigers attack six wolves in fifteen hours. Tigers attack eight wolves in twenty hours. Now, you, you would notice that, first of all, you have two wolves attacking, then four, four wolves attacking, then you have six and eight. The difference, the difference between those to the rate, the rate of attack, the rate of wolves, would be the same, and the difference would be the two. Right? You look over over on the hours side, there is that constant rate also, but the increments uh, would be a five instead of two. So that's what is meant by the rates must be constant, but they they don't have to be the same. So, when, in terms of the number of wolves, we're talking about a constant rate of two. In the terms of the hours, you know, it's referring to a constant rate of five hours per, per the attack given. Okay, so that's, that's what it, it means. Number four, the changing of the rate of the two conditions must be in the same direction. In other words, when one is increasing, the other one must also be increasing. But it could also be a situation in which one is decreasing. And when one is decreasing, then the other one is also decreasing. And when we're talking about proportionality, that, that naturally happens. That when one is going up, the other one goes up. And when one is coming down, the other one also comes down. Conditions of, of, of proportional relationship, you know, y is equal to k, which is a constant, x, k times x. Uh, x is changing by the same unit, such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. y is changing by the same unit, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
the value of y is equal to the value of x when multiplied by a constant which is k. The ratios of the changes must be the same. Now, we look at the following table to, to sort of illustrate that. But the tigers, this is in reference to the tigers at the top. Okay, here we go. Um, when you find a ratio of 5 to 2 or 2 to 5, um, you're going to get 0 0.4. 4 to 10, 0 0.4. 6 to 15, 0 0.4. And 8 to 20, we also have a 0 0.4 ratio. And that, that is exactly what it means when we talk about um, the ratios or the rates being the same. Uh, another condition is that a straight line that is produced must pass through the coordinate, the zero zero coordinate, which is the origin. Right? This is for both the x and the y. The line must pass through the origin. Um, if the line does not pass through the origin, then it does not meet the condition of proportionality. And here is a graphic e graphic um, explanation of that, or graphic display of, of that. That here, here is the, the origin and the line is straight. You know? If the line came through here, it would be wrong. If the line came through here, it would be wrong. Or if the line came from from the origin, but it's a curve, then it would, it would not be proportional. If it came from the origin, but it's a curve, then it would not be proportional. Uh, the equation must be written in, in this format, y is equal to k times x, or t is equal to k times s, or Tom is equal to k times Mary. Right? Any other format would mean that, uh, that we don't have a proportional relationship. Like um, y is equal to k times x plus 7, that 7 would be passing at a location that is not zero on the y-axis. Uh, this gives a straight line, but it does not pass through the origin. Okay. Or you have y is equal to k x squared. You know this 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 could pass through the coordinate zero and zero, right? But it does not produce a straight line. It So um, that would be all for this video. In the next video, we're going to look at the conditions, the necessary conditions for um, inverse proportion or inverse proportionality, right? The necessary conditions that must be met for you to have inverse proportionality. Until then, this is Nick. Thank you.